today is Sunday. Today is the day we have a special guest at the crib. Want to say hi, Jason? What's up, everybody? That is Jason. Who is Jason, you ask? <laughs> that guy! Came over, helped me out tremendously. Uh, we got my brand new clutch line on, and then we also just finished up our fuel setup. We have something else in the works, but this is just to get the car driving and everything to Daytona, but we're gonna do something cool, more tuck style. It, it's gonna look dope, and I will have no more hard lines of fuel. Full fuel lines of these, I don't know the, I hate when I have to explain things, because that just <laughs> never goes right. But it's gonna run straight to the tank with a nice uh, fuel tank, uh, fuel pump setup stuff on yeah. a relay, and it's gonna look dope. The car is uh, gonna look really sick. A lot of people know what we, a lot of what I already put out, but um, we're gonna do the hanger mod on this car, so it's going to remove all the factory fuel fittings out of the actual hanger itself. Um, we're gonna get rid of all this stuff. We're gonna relocate the regulator to the rail um, right on this side. Um, and we're gonna run PTFE, so full E85 lines from literally inside the tank at the fuel filter, um, all the way through, under the car, um, all the way up to the rail and back. So it'll be full E85 from yep. front to back, um, true 6AN, no more hard line, uh, no more nothing. So um, we're trying to figure out how we want to do it. I'm not a big fan of center feeding uh, these rails. I don't like doing that. I like a double feed. So it, like, if you were to feed it on both sides and maybe return up the middle, Something yeah. like that, but we're just trying to brainstorm a little bit. But he needed to get the car running for Daytona, so um, this is actually the tuck kit or the what I call a swap kit that we sell. Mm -hmm. um, it's meant to so you keep the regulator here on the shock tower. Uh, you're going to feed in from your standard feed line, so your hard line right here comes with our adapters and everything. Feeds through, filters kind of tucked here, comes into the rail. We 180 out the back of the rail. Um, come around. Zox actually had the idea to kind of tuck it under the rail here. Yes. It kind of actually came out pretty good. Hey, it looks really nice. All, the only line you truly really see is this one. Yeah, because once, once you have everything here, you're not yeah, really going to see the see filter that or anything. All. Yeah. So this is really the only line that you're going to see on the uh, on the swap kit itself. So that actually came out really nice. Yeah, I like the way it So this is actually the same kit that uh, Mark from uh, Honda Street Garage had. So the same exact kit on his car. Same exact. So, yeah, Shout out, Mark. That came out really, oh. really good. So, sorry, I'm going to curse on you. I do my cool little... <laughs> Make it look dope. I didn't watch the last video where you did this. I don't know what you said about it. Yeah. Oh, well, I was we, like, because what happened was. Showed that or not? Yeah. But we, he didn't. Um, the kid I had before, he didn't know I was running a S two K one. So the kid that he sells, if you use a factory um clutch master cylinder, it'll work fine. What was different on mine? This one came up. Cause that's how it is um, when you run the master. So, but I had the 180 this downward so it can work. And now that that's all tightened up and bleed, yeah. now I can bleed the clutch, have pressure, and now I have fuel. So now what's left from there is just obviously tighten the manifold up with a gasket and throttle cable and all that fun jazz, getting the car to crank, and that's it. Yeah, so the clutch line was pretty much the same. All I had to do was kind just of flip the other end around on this side. So same length, same everything, tucks under the mount same way on the other one so that worked out really well yeah it really did so it's... i'm actually going to add this to the website if anybody yeah so if anybody is doing a case swap and running the s2000 master um i'll have that as an option because that was you're welcome now guys. That I, now, yeah, now they have the the measurements so we're good to go but uh you should be we just got to tighten everything down on this yeah, that's it just tighten it up. everything we should be good you should have fuel and be ready to go so Almost there. Almost there! Make sure to follow JB at JBTune on Facebook and Instagram and check out my link down below to JBTune.com for all your specialized Honda Acura fuel f needs and he's, what is it? PF8, you know. PTFE? Uh, PTFE, specializes in the, everything fuel and swap related, B series stuff, uh, K series stuff. I don't know if you have H series. You got H series stuff yet? Uh, I got an H2B kit. Eight, there you go. Oh, Fred, there you go. H2B kit. I know you want H2B, so. There you go, hit up JB too. So that was the man that make all my fuel and clutch stuff happen. My man Jason, which is JB Tune. But for today's video, as you can read the title, hopefully, if my mom let me use her car, your boy's gonna pick up some new wheels, man. And I ain't gonna tell you what wheels I get till I get there, so I don't want you fast. Well, you probably gonna fast forward through the video anyway, so. But if you don't fast forward, then a couple of clips from now, we'll be getting our new wheels. And sadly, they're not RPF ones. I'm sorry to let anyone down who thought I was gonna run RPF ones. I was supposed to, but I found a great deal that I couldn't refuse, so. Luckily for me, my brother let me use his car to go down to pick up the wheels. I'm finally in the red center that you guys keep asking about. I mean, it's, it's trash, but he's letting me use it to go meet up with the guy to get the wheels. I 
facing north. Like for all my people that live um, like down south or you know in my area, isn't it always better driving up north than down south? Like I live in between Orlando and Miami and I love driving up north bro. Like it's the roads are better. I don't know what it is. I just love driving up north and I'm like already 20 minutes away and I just started driving like 25 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. So like it's like me driving to West Palm basically or whatever. But we're so close to picking up my new wheels. I cannot wait to show you guys the wheels, son. Yee yee! So, these are the wheels I'm picking up. 16 by seven and a half or seven? Seven. Seven. Uh, Graham lights, I don't know, they're 57, they're not the DRs, I know that for sure. 57S. Uh, the 4x1, 14, but he's hooking me up with uh, adapters to run them, so thank God for that. I was trying to find them on Google to see how like they look on like a, uh, an Integra. I could not, I, didn't, I couldn't find the name. I was like, I don't want to bother him. Like, what's the name? Like, I didn't want to be that. I was like, ah. We now have the Graham lights loaded up, and now it's time to get home to throw them on the car. Hit up my boy Fred, see if I can get these bad boys powder coated, because that would be nice. And my brother's car doesn't start, so this is going to be embarrassing because this car does not ever start. Oh wow, it started. Sweet. All right, time to get home, playboy. Huh, well, that was fast, huh? Got home quick, huh? Ooh, they so clean. All right, time to get these unloaded. I would test fit tonight, but it's too dark, bro. It's like seven o'clock. What's up, ma? Yeah. <laughs> too late to put on the wheels, but I did get him. What you think, bro? My first set of real wheels. You think Jose is watching, bro? Yeah. That's the homie. He cool as hell. Yeah, he's cool. Hey, put him on. <laughs> Let's test fit, bro. Came again. <laughs> Clean, boy. My first set of real wheels. Aside from Cozy K1s. It's so freaking dark, but I'll put them on tomorrow to show you guys, but that's something how it would look like. Oh my God, I can't wait. What's up? Uh, it's the next day, and I got a package from Zip Tie, so. Before we start showing you guys the wheels on the car and everything, well, before I start showing you guys wheels and stuff on everything, let's do a little unboxing of my Zip Ties care package. Let's see what your boy got. I think there's some stickers in here, Playboy. I think we got some stickers. Yep, some sticker wickers. Shirt one. Hey, and it's in my beautiful green. Got a Zip Tie So Deep shirt. I think this is dope. I love zip ties, bro. Zip ties got the best freaking apparel design. Philip is the dude. Philip is my guy. Here we have another one. I love this one. Uh, so dope. It's like the Marlboro font thing because you got the Marlboro right sick, uh, thing right there. Like, I think this is so sick, bro. This is just sick. Next up, we have a. Oh, I love the donut design. It's just so cool. Donut design one. Boom. Zip ties logo. You know what I'm saying? Your left booby. Last but not least, yo, what? What did they, yo, they got shorts out? Oh, that's dope. Oh, that is so dope. I didn't know zip ties made shorts. I wear shorts like these all the time. My girlfriend calls them thought shorts. I don't know why, but. Yo, hey, let's get it, let's get it. To Anthony, to Phil, and to Jay, I love you guys over at Zip Ties, my first ever sponsor, and I can't thank you guys enough for always keeping me dressed up and dripped out, you know what I'm saying, even though I'm not wearing a Zip Ties shirt today, but, you know, I'm always working Zip Ties because they are the homies and I love them dearly, and I would love if you guys go to their website and then use code Zosh and grab some merch with 15% off, courtesy of your binnoy, Zosh Daddy Dollars, you know what I'm saying, check them out, uh, the great people, great designs, one of the best if not the best automotive apparel brand out there. Philip kills it with the designs all the time and I can't wait for him to start designing my merch. Phil, Phil, can you please start designing my merch so I can sell and people can support me? Thanks. But let's continue the video that you guys really clicked on to watch. Let's reveal these, well I already revealed the wheels, but let's see the wheels on the car.
a beautiful day for some gram lights, boy. Check me out, son. Oh, my God. I think it just looks so freaking good, bro. Like, look at that, dude. Fun fact, if you don't know who uh, Photos by Josh is, he's like a super dope dude. And these used to be his old wheels. So if you go on his Instagram, I think it's Photos by Josh. Um, if you scroll all the way down to, I think, his post of 2016, 2017, you will see these exact wheels in bronze, and that is what I plan to do. I want to get these wheels powder coated in bronze because, bro, bronze and the green and then the yellow, yellow letters. And my man Evolex Juni on Instagram is powder coating me some uh, calipers, so I'm going to have freshly powder coated calipers. I got to do something about those rotors because I don't know if you guys can see the rust on them bad boys. Who go? Yeah, dog. This is it, bro. This is the new wheel setup. These tires are 205 45s. I plan on running 225 45s in the future. I really do want my uh, ND Firehawk 500s, but I mean, if I can, you know, scrounge up some cash and then get some Toyo R888Rs or something like that, then that'd be good. So I want to hook with that beautiful motor in there. Like, oh my God, look at my car, dude. I've been filming this angle of my car for the past four years and I've been through so many swaps, color changes, and it's just authentic wheels. I have a K swap. I have somewhat of decent paint. I mean, I just gotta get it, you know, like coated and stuff like that. But it's just dope how my car completely transformed. But these wheels are so nice. I think these are plus 43 offset or plus 40. I can't remember what he said. So with the spacers, it adds, it uh, takes away the offset. So essentially what offset is like the higher the offset, the more your wheel will go in. The less of the offset, the more your wheel will poke out. So with the spacers, my wheel will poke out more. So now my offset is probably like, I don't know, like Probably like 20 something look at that fitment bro look at that rear fitment bro oh my god the only sad thing about the rear fitment that i'm gonna have to raise it to match the front because k series bro your freaking oil pan is just on the freaking ground dude well that's it guys that is the new wheels i'm gonna do some minor adjusting probably off camera so i don't waste all you guys' precious time of watching my videos but these are the new wheels boys these are 16 by 7 plus 43 or 48 offset volk racing gram lights 57s they're not the DRs, they're not the Cs, these are the 57S, and the lug pattern is 4x114, but he gave me the adapter spacer to run, and, and I know what some of you guys are probably saying, Josh, bro, you can't run spacers, bro, if you run spacers, it, you, your lug's gonna come loose. <laughs> So my plan of action is, I want to get these wheels powder coated a nice OEM bronze color, like of the Volk Racing Real Series of the T37s, like in that beautiful bronze color, yellow calipers. Oh, I cannot wait! But that's the plan of action to get these wheels powder coated bronze. If you know any powder coaters in the area from Vero Beach all the way to like West Palm Beach in that area, because I'm not mobile at the moment, so I can't travel too, too far like to Miami or Broward. And if you know any powder coaters that are looking for some, you know, some type of promotion, you know what I'm saying, with some cash, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm your boy, I can help y'all out, you know what I'm saying? I guess you can say I'm a social media influencer, which means I need some fit tea and I need some Fashion Nova jeans, so holla at your boy, you know what I'm saying? But that is the plan. I do want to hopefully get these wheels powder coated um, bronze before Simply Clean, even though my car doesn't even run, so I shouldn't be wasting money right now to powder coat some wheels when I should be putting money into the car to run. But I have everything to make the car run. I don't have it now, but essentially. So if you know any powder coaters that are looking to hit some business exposure, promotion, you know what I'm saying, with some cash, I'm your man for the job. I need some But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy the video of the new wheels. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, wow. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. And if you see me in the next video wearing the same shirt with all these sweat stains, I'm filming two videos in one day so I can start my daily grind of uploading daily so I can get these videos done and shout out to JB again for the fuel stuff and clutch line like JB I love you thank you and I will catch you guys in the next one I'm out peace also let me know if you know any powder coaters and pick up a shirt so I can get my wheels powder coated and not feel bad thanks bye